Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to be showing you my next Papercraft Society kit. So this is the second one I've done for the Papercraft Society. The first one was kit number 10 and that was back in the summer. I absolutely love these. I share them all the time on my channel and I was just super excited to be asked to do another one. So as you can see, this has a theme and it's under the water. I just, or under the sea, nautical, I just love that theme in general and I have a lot of cards and Papercraft projects on my channel, you know, with that that kind of same theme so when they asked me to come up with an idea uh, this is what I went for and they took it and they really liked it so I'm so pleased with this one it's jam-packed I asked for a lot of stuff in this and I got it so <laughs> let's dive in so you can see exactly what you're going to get with this month's kit okay so you get a nice velcro fastening there so it's always nice and secure when you receive it and I've got here underwater theme cards have always been a favorite of mine I hope you have as much fun making them as I do and then as always, all of the designs that you see on here are an indication of the papers that will be in the kit. Okay, so, and again with the envelope here as well. So first of all, I'm gonna show you everything in the envelope and then we'll look at everything inside of the tissue. Okay, so on the envelope there, you can see that lovely shell design and it's all on the back there as well. And then inside, so you always have your dies, your stamps, any kind of maybe stencils, embossing folders, things like that that the designer has chosen and also your pattern papers. So I'll talk about them in the moment. In a moment, I'm just gonna use the back side so you can see the dies here. So, so as you know, I'm known for doing cards that move, so any kind of kinetic card. So for this one, I wanted to do the slider, penny slider cards. So you have these two dies here and you can cut this into any you know area on your cardstock, pattern paper, whatever you choose, and it will allow you to attach any kind of image or die cut and it will move from left to right or up and down, however you place it, it will move around on the card. So I thought that style would work really well with the underwater you know, kind of theme because you can have the fish from, you know, like they're swimming from side to side and I've also added in a submarine. So that's the, the mechanism dies, I, I guess, but you can also use these dies with anything else you have in your stash. So you can add all kinds of things to them. But you also get this lovely wave. You get your seaweed uh, there and there. You get your anchor. And then you also get these little kind of gems like diamonds and rubies. And you also get the coins here. And they will all come out of the treasure chest where you can have them all around the treasure chest or built up in here, however you want. You also have this open oyster shell with the pearl in the middle and then you've got some jellyfish here and you've got another shell just there. These are all outline dies for the different fish and you've got a crab here as well but you'll see those in a moment. And then this circle here is what you would use to attach any of your images along these pieces here. But that will all be explained in the inspiration book and you'll have step-by-step -step instructions and everything. So that's the dies and then I will talk about the stamps because that will then make sense. So if I just pop this, actually if we just hold them both up here then I can kind of point to each one. So you can see here you've got your submarine and there's the die to cut that one. Then you have the stingray here and there's the die to cut that one. And then we've got some really, really lovely tropical fish. We've got a puffer fish here, <laughs> and there's the die for him. I don't know the name of this one. I need to find out the name of that one, but it's gorgeous. And you've got the die to cut that one out there. Then you've got the crab, I love him, love his expression. And there's the die to cut him out. So that's the main ones. And then you've got your little fishes here that you can just stamp directly onto the background, or you can fussy cut them if you want. You've got a cute little seahorse there as well. I love the swarms of fish. And then we've got some really fun um, puns here, which I really enjoyed putting together. And you've got long time no see. It's officially your special day. Let's celebrate good times. So fish ticated sending you birthday fishes and then have a fantastic day. You've got all your seaweed here, you've got your rocks, uh, you've got bubbles, more seaweeds and bubbles, more bubbles, other fish, there's lots going on there and hopefully I think you're going to really like the samples that I have put together with this kit. So that's the stamps and then the papers, the papers are fantastic. We've also got a stencil and I'll show you that in a moment. You get two of each design, so you've got this one here which is the envelope cover really really nice then you have your scenes so if you don't want to stamp and create your scene we've done them for you already so we've got this one here really really nice you've got two of that design oh 
then you've got vellum as well there's loads in here love this one so this is a really lovely beautiful sandy clear seabed so you imagine all the stamps and the dies built up in front of that so again you've got two of those and then we've got this other fun scene for you to be able to build up in front of so you would cut that you know shaped die anywhere on here and then you could have that fish moving back and forth very very fun they're great cards to do then you have some vellum so this is going to be great for doing any kind of shaker cards that you might want to do and like diorama styles and things like that which again you will see some of those in the samples and then you have a stencil so the stencil was just something else that i wanted in here to use to build depth to the cards create a little bit more interest so you have here in the middle you've got these waves and then you've got bubbles and more of your seaweed which is really good to create more of a background and then all of these here will create your waves so you've got waves or the seabed depending on what one you want to use this one here you know has just a little bit of a shape to it so that would work well as your seabed and then you've got ones here which will create and you can layer these all up and again this will all be explained to you in the booklet so it's a really handy stencil to have so that's everything in the envelope so the tissue i wanted to have is a sand color so that's what you have here now you will also have a sticker on yours but mine has come i have the first one in existence so that's still being done but you will have a nice sticker to keep it all together but inside here so it doesn't end we have water droplets and these are beads and they are clear beads and you can stick these with a little bit of glue in the background so it looks like the, the bubbles are coming from the fish these add such a nice interest to your cards and they're really tactile as well and just lots of fun so you've got some water drop beads and then we've got two colors here so i wanted a sandy color and a really nice blue so you can create either the sky or the sea depending on what it is that you want to do so really really nice colors there and you'll see those again in the samples then you also get an information card so this one here i've put don't rush it create little masterpieces again if you followed me for some time now you'll know that i will quite happily spend three hours on a card and i will sit there and i will color and i will die cut the smallest dies and i will feed them in and then i'll decide i don't want to give that card away i'm going to keep it for myself because it is a masterpiece <laughs> so i like to create very detailed cards and that's what you will see with the samples and then on the back here i've done my top tips to fussy cutting it's something that i get asked a lot so i thought i would put it into one of these little you know information cards i like to keep mine all together on a binder ring and they're just in front of me so i will add this one to it although i know obviously what i'm doing with fussy cutting but it's just a nice little one to look at for reference if you're ever stumped or you need a refresher then you've got even more card stocks so here you have your coordinating card stock so you've got your sand color so you get two of them and these are white core and you can create some really nice effects with the white core card then you've got just a variety of blues because that is what you will need a lot of for this kit so you have this really lovely like denim blue then you've got this sky blue and then you've got this light blue so you've got so many you know nice shades there along with those pattern papers and then you've got your sand there as well have this gorgeous iridescent cardstock it's just picking up more of a shine but there is lots of colors like a rainbow color that goes through this card you then also have glitter cards so you have this lovely turquoise and then that real rich cobalt kind of blue color and these are non-shed i just wanted lots of texture i wanted glitter i wanted shine and i'm hoping that that's what i've been able to achieve with this kit and you really enjoy it there's a lot that you can do with this so that's everything in the tissue paper so i'll just show you three samples that i've made i've actually done 11 in total that's including three videos so you've got lots of inspiration just from me there will also be more inspiration in the book from other people on the design team as well but the actual slider mechanism you can see it moving here and it just allows whatever you have on here to move very freely you know along the card it's lots of fun great for the children to use then you can just turn it around again when you want to display it you can see the water droplets and i've got there and then all the different fish that lovely scene background paper this is a top folding card so it will stand up perfectly lots of room to write your message that's one there then i've just done something very simple here with some stamping long time no see so if you are someone that prefers more of a clean finish with your cards you can create some lovely scenes with the stamps and then i've done this one here and this is using hair gel so inside this plastic bag is hair gel 
and I show you and tell you exactly what to do to make this one. And you've got the iridescent cardstock there that I've used on the jellyfish. Use the glitter card around the frame and then you can see those water droplets there as well. And then all the stamps and the dies there to create your scenes. Really, really fun, very tactile cards. And again, it stands up really, really well. That's just a few of the samples that I've made. I won't show you any more now, so you've got nice surprises when you receive your kit. You will also, if you subscribe to this one or to any of the Paper Craft Society boxes, you will also get access to exclusive tutorials. So I will be doing exclusive tutorials using this kit, along with my Facebook Lives that I do over on my own channel, where I'll be using this kit and also past kits. I love using these boxes and you see them feature regularly. So if you'd like to find out more and get your hands on this box, just click on the links in the description box below and it will take you to the website and you'll be able to see the different kind of subscription packages, delivery options and things like that. And uh, yeah, look out for future tutorials. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoy this kit and I'll be back very soon. Bye.